Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Lock, and I'm going to show you guys how to make rice in your Instant Pot. It's one of the easiest things you can make in the pot, along with eggs and some shredded chicken, and it's the best method in the world on how to make rice. If you have one of those little rice cookers before just to make rice, well forget those. You can now do so much more in your Instant Pot, as well as making amazing foods. You can make rice too! You're going to see, it couldn't be easier, it's a foolproof method, and it works fantastically every single time. So let's go to the Instant Pot and make some really simple white rice. So the rice that I really like to use for most of my foods is a jasmine rice. I use it pretty much for almost any time a dish calls for like a white rice. And the reason being that it's really versatile, you can use it for like an Asian style dish, you can use it for something that's more American or Southern, whatever. It really works for everything and it cooks nice and fluffy and I just love this rice. So we're going to use some jasmine rice. And I'm going to use one cup worth of the rice. Now I'm not using any fancy like rice measuring cup specifically, I'm using a regular measuring cup for this. And I'm going to put in one cup's worth of jasmine jasmine rice in here. Now this step is super, super important and I cannot stress it enough. We need to rinse our rice for maximum results and that's going to make sure it's not sticky or really cloudy in there. What we want to do is we want to take our rice, again one cup, I'm going to pour this little colander strainer thing here and I want to rinse it off for a good 90 seconds or so until all the cloudiness is out in the water. You see that, that, that cloudy color right now coming through the bottom? We want it to be nice and clear. So do this for about 90 seconds and rinse it out good. All right, now that the water below is nice and clear and no longer cloudy, we're done. All right, now I'm going to transfer this over to the Instant Pot. And now I'm going to go to my Instant Pot and I'm going to add my rice right in there. And jasmine rice is a one-to-one -one ratio rice. That means we're going to do one cup of water per one cup of rice. And we're going to mix that together. And again, I'm using a regular measuring cup, not some fancy specific rice measuring cup, just a regular one. And then just get the rice so it's nice and submerged in the water. Again, we have one cup of rice that's nice and rinsed, and then one cup of water. That simple. So now let's secure our lid and make sure we are in sealing position. And let's come down to our control panel and hit the manual or the pressure cook button. They have different names depending on newer models. Again, they do the exact same thing, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna hit the manual button in this case because we don't have a pressure cook button. By the way, this button that says pressure, it just adjusts between low pressure and high pressure, but pretty much everything is always cooked at high pressure. We only wanna go for three minutes, guys, just three minutes. After 10 seconds of letting it sit there, it's gonna hit on. There you go, and then it's gonna start coming to pressure. Now, once the, the little pin pops up, it's gonna start cooking and counting down from three minutes, but when it's done cooking, we wanna let this naturally release for 10 minutes before we finish with a quick release, okay? Make sure that we get a nice, good three minutes of cooking time in there, and then a 10 minute natural release. All right, so now that those three minutes of cooking time are finished, we're gonna now allow a 10 minute natural release. That means we're gonna wait until this counts up to 10, and that means 10 minutes have elapsed, and then we're gonna follow that up with a quick release. And then we're gonna follow that up with a quick release. All right, so 10 minutes of a natural release just passed, so we're gonna finish that off now with a quick release. And you're gonna see there's gonna be very little steam that's even gonna come out at this point because so much of it is already released naturally. And the pin drops, so let's take the lid off. And there is our rice. All right, you see how beautiful that is? Now I'm just gonna take a fork, and I'm just gonna fluff it up, and look at this, guys. Absolutely perfect rice, not sticking to the pot at all. This rice is absolutely perfect. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this in a bowl, and now it's ready to eat. And there's our perfect jasmine rice transferred to a lovely bowl that looks like it's reminiscent of something lotus nature. Now we can use either chopsticks to eat this, because if you want to have it Asian style, that's great. Or you can just use a fork if you want to do it any other style and pour anything over it, whatever you want. Any Italian dish, any American dish, eat it on its own. Or if you want to toss it up with some sort of Asian dish. By the way, what we just did right now, this step is the first step to my hibachi rice recipe. All right, let's try it out. All right, and here's some rice to try out. Look at how perfectly it's going to pick up with my chopsticks. Look at that. So easy. Mm. Now that is some cooked to perfection rice right there. Fantastic. This method works like a charm every single time. Guys, for more tips and great recipes, go to PressureLoveCooking.com. Hover over any photo and any recipe. And you'll see a little save button appear in the left corner. You can pin it to any Pinterest board that way. Go to PressureLoveCooking on Facebook. That's Facebook.com slash PressureLoveCooking and like the page. Updates are going to come out whenever a new recipe comes. You'll be alerted. You're going to want to know when those drop for sure to try the latest and greatest new recipe. And uh, um, of course, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. Subscribe. That's pressure luck right there. And I will never make rice any other way again than in the Instant Pot. Look at it. Perfection every single time. And I'm on this like white on rice, if you get my drift, okay? All right. 